You sure you like outside? I'm okay. I'm okay. I mean, I don't think I have a like a like. Ready? Uh, and go. <laughs> Hey, what's up? What's up? Good evening. Good evening. You are watching Divorce and get and Move On. I think that's the name of it, right? Divorce and Move On. Yeah, we, we change the name every week. I'm Warren. I'm Warren. Did I just say I'm Warren? Oh my God. Can you just Actually, say your name? You say I'm Warren's ex-wife. Okay, 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 okay. I'm Warren's ex-wife. And I'm Madonna's ex-husband. And we're doing a show together. Wow. <laughs> right, right. Wow is right. Actually, this is a wow. Yeah, it is. Because we're actually in the same place. So we've been doing this virtually and we will do this virtually. But guess what daddy had to do? He had to get on the flight and discipline the kids. That's what I'm talking about. Do it, Warren. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did a great job of it and uh, came up and, um, you know, hopefully uh, took care of a little bit of odds and ends. Yeah, absolutely. Well, watch this. Uh, we discovered that, you know, talking about uh, our life after being divorced, uh, we're talking about dating, co-parenting, coexisting, being on the same planet. OK, not just being in the same country, but being on the same planet and how we actually came to the we had a come to Jesus moment and, and got to the happy. Happy place, I think we could say happy place, but uh, even now, even with Warren disciplining our sons. Um, I really do appreciate that we're able to do that in on one accord. Yes. I don't think we were able to do that when we were married. <laughs> what was wow. up with that? Wow. Um, well, okay, listen. Um, one of the biggest things is we said we were going to come up with some topics. And guess what? I come up with some topics just right on the fly. Oh, I want to hear this. Yeah, I know. Just right on the fly. I was like, okay, this probably was something that we could talk about. It doesn't have... Okay, I'm having a, a difficulty, you know, like um, boundaries with what I talk and what I expose to the other side. Now, that's something that I think is an interesting topic. I would want someone to tell me, oh, and tell me, someone to talk to me about boundaries after marriage. Or, because I'm going to tell you this right now, she has no boundaries. Yes, I do. Well, she tells, she, she, she basically say anything. I'm an open book as I'm turning the pages. Okay. Well, you, I think you're just an open book, but I am completely different. Um, I am, uh, I'm doing this because this something is her passion. And I think that, you know, when somebody has a passion doing something, you want to support them and, you know, basically just. You know, I don't know. I don't oh, know. now when, you want to be supportive? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. When wow. I said that, I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but I, when she has a passion for it, she's doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. And she asked me, so it didn't hurt me. And so I was like, hey, you know, let me go ahead and help or let me go ahead and do it. But I'm not an open book. I may be a thoughtful person, all that kind of stuff, but I'm not an open book. Like, so what, okay. what, what are your boundaries? See, there you go. We talk about them because uh -huh. I don't think, um, I think, you know, I feel very uncomfortable talking about my, well, I feel uncomfortable talking about a whole lot of things. And then she just goes and talks about it. I'm like, hold on, stop, 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 stop. But I don't, you know, maybe we should start off with your boundaries or what do you think a boundary is and all that kind of stuff. What do you think my boundaries are? And then we'll ease into my boundaries because I really don't. I mean, I honestly, I haven't thought about it. Not only have I not thought about it, but I have not really, um, uh, explore them, you know, especially in this dynamic. I'm basically right now, my boundaries are, let's see, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, let's see, you know, and um, I don't even know if that's even it. Even, you know, they're thought, they're, they're, they're thought, thought, thought out. They're like, once you're doing them, you know, I'm looking around, you know, like, do I feel comfortable there? Yeah, I, I like that. I, this is really a good topic. I'm proud of you. Um, I think that, um, I think, my well, your boundaries. You said your you want me to do my boundaries first or yours? Yours. I mean, you your boundaries, of course. Okay, because I course. like you said, I may not have any. Yeah. But um, I think okay, <laughs> just to just to find and understand the question. Yeah, there you go. What are my my boundaries when it comes to talking to you or talking on the show? Interesting. Okay. Um, I think okay, so the the whole thing is um uh we were divorced so what are the boundaries what are the lines in divorce wow if they i'm not there they, they probably go for different folks 
And this probably, I don't even know if we want to even talk about this, you know. Actually, I got a list. Um, you got a list? Now that you mentioned no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have, you don't have no list. I you do have, have a list. list. You do not have a list. You're okay, like, don't whatever. talk about boyfriends or people I'm dating. That's the no. boundary. What? She, 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 she talk about, to about talk it, yeah. about that. And, you know, you, yeah, you don't have any boundaries. Uh, I don't think yes, so. I do. Yes, I do. Uh, don't talk about, wow. No, she doesn't have any boundaries. Okay. And, and I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm trying to think. Yeah, she doesn't have any boundaries. And on top of that, I I mean that's all good. It's all good. I I'll I'll, I'll go ahead and say what my boundaries are if, if they are. I'm gonna come up with one. You gonna come up with one? Yeah. You're gonna make up one. Uh, no, I'm gonna I have to really think. I was asked on the spot. I didn't have time to prepare. You said you wrote them down. Well, oh <laughs> <laughs> just busted me out. Yeah, you said you had to write them down. All right, so. what are your boundaries, Warren? I well, all I know is I feel uncomfortable every time. I get on here. So, I mean, my boundaries are really on the fence right now. As, as we speak, I'm like looking over the fence, you know, because my boundary is like being on here, exposing, you know, any of my business, honestly, is kind of like, ooh. Um, I guess it's not boundary because I'm out, I'm talking on here, but I do a, even t like strategically trying to figure out is my boundary. strategically? Yes. Strategic. It's strategically. Yes. Strategically. Stra T Stra T Jick Jick Lee Lee. Okay, okay. I can say them apart from each other. <laughs> okay, so my boundaries. Say, nope. <laughs> nope. Go ahead. Okay, so my boundaries are, um, you know, okay, my fault. I I think that if I told you my boundaries. I'd be telling you about myself. So my boundaries are telling you about my boundaries. Oh my God. <laughs> are you serious? So now you bring up boundaries. No, well, I mean, I, 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 so, so it's like this. If you tell somebody about your boundaries, you mean you're telling somebody about your weaknesses and, or you're telling somebody about some things that you don't want to talk about. Therefore, you're basically telling you somebody about yourself. So therefore it's almost like a, you know, you're working yourself backwards in that. So if I told somebody, I was, uh, my boundaries are, you know, um, I, I just, just throwing it out there. My, my boundaries are um, the color X, you know, I don't know, the color uh, yellow. Like, what's what, what the color yellow? You know, the yellow has something to do with this, that, and the other. So I'm trying to, I, I don't want to expose. Okay, let me just, okay. I'm gonna, let me expose Go. you. I'm good at this. Oh, wow. Okay, you don't want to talk about things that are rehashed. Definitely. I don't okay. want to bring up. Think, right now, I'm in a good place in my life. Not saying that I could bring it up, but I don't want to risk it. You know why I risk it? Right. Uh, you don't want to talk about your. Um, well, actually, you have talked to me about your. Well, I shouldn't say that. What's that? Your chicks, your women. Oh, I don't think I've told you anything. You of, have. Of, of, I don't think I've told you anything of, of any of any substance that would that would that would be like you know. My goodness, I'm I'm I'm, I'm male, so of hey, I, I took it and ran with it. Well, hold on. What did I tell you that would be a boundary? Because I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man. I I interested in women. I don't think that has no boundary. Yeah. Now, if I told you like, oh, we we're I don't know what would I tell you that was. I mean, that was you, gonna, well, yeah, you didn't did. tell me anything intimate. I was trying to try you uh, just to be nosy, but um, you have told me about different women that you were interested in. Different women that I've been interested in. Yeah, you don't remember? No, I don't. Okay. Let's just play this back. Oh, wait, that's not it. <laughs> About a year ago, when I came to California, we actually went to breakfast to talk about those damn kids of ours and my dog. And I talked to you about a young lady a yeah, year ago? Yeah, you did. And you were like, well, there is this young lady. And he looked at me to see my reaction. I'm like, yeah, tell me more. I want to know. You don't remember? You said you don't remember anything anyway. But I'm trying to figure out what I tell you that was like, you know, I mean, there was a woman. I mean, my goodness, that's nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. it wasn't much. But yeah. at least I got that. Well, I mean, it'd be a news if it wasn't a woman, huh? <laughs> you know, my goodness. I'm trying to figure out it was a woman, but I don't think I told you anything of any substance. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, okay, well, let me ask you this. Are there boundaries when it comes to talking to you about who I plan on dating. Oh man, no, I don't think so. Well, so I don't, I depends on, depends on like, I mean, I don't, I don't want 
any intimate details. I don't want him any. You know, I'm, I'm interested. I think you're an attractive woman, so I'm, I'm sure that you're probably oh, dating somebody. You. So I'm, I'm not. Pos- I'm not. I, I don't. I don't. I don't think you could shock me with that. Okay. Well, you. Yeah. All right. So people that we see, that's 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 fine. That's just hey, look, I got a guy or I got a girl. Yeah, I don't think that's not. I don't think that's not boundary. Boundaries. What? Okay, let's just define boundaries because I think that's not a boundary. Um, you know, you're you're dating somebody. That's not a boundary. I think that's all understood. Boundary would be, okay, um, talking about now. This is something. As soon as I mentioned it, as soon as I mentioned it, it's going to be yeah. <laughs> it's going to be given away. I won't even say given away, but it's going to be like. You know, something's, something's gonna be, you know, something's gonna be made hay out of no, it. How I, about that? I promise I'll do good. No, no, no. Okay. Um, boundaries would be, um, and this is, I, I, I hate to even mention it because it's like, can you just spill yeah, it, please? I know, I know. I know. See, that, I probably make too much hay out of it already. Um, okay. So let's just say, um, I'm trying to figure out how can I say it because I put myself in a in a, in a bind right now. <laughs> Just I, say it. Um, I'll edit it out. Yeah, you edit it out. <laughs> no, I'm putting myself in a in a bind with you as well. Shoot, shoot. Um, it's okay. You're in a safe space. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually, I'm just thinking, darn it, why am I not going to get out this show right now? Because I put myself in a corner because I can't think of anything alternate to say. Now, hold on. Let me say this. First of all, I don't think it's that bad. It's just like it tells my, my you know, just uh, my situation. Um, Once we start talking about, oh my God, Jesus. Look, you're watching Divorced and Move On. And could you move on to this answer, please? What's the boundary? Okay. Money. And I'm be honest with you. the reason why I say that. Yeah, I know. See, uh, now what nothing, about it? Yeah, I know. I you know, got know. some money. Well, listen. Let's, let's say this: the part where boundaries are, and 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 trust me, I, you know, there's several reasons why you want to, um, you know, do that because maybe you is one way or the other, but you just don't want to discuss it. Even once it comes up, I, it's like you don't want to discuss it as much. Well, as if I win the lottery, I'm not telling. Yeah, exactly, you. exactly. Uh, you know, but um, if you win the lottery, you're telling me. I'm definitely without a doubt, without a doubt, without a doubt. You know, and sometimes you it's in, insecurities and all that kind of stuff has to do with the subject too. Because I'm not very secure in you know probably dating. That's why I'm saying, hey, you know, talk about it all day. But you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, and now that I think about it, you you did go on to tell me how you spoil these women. No, I don't think I told you. Yeah, you like did. That. You did. In fact, you I said, know I didn't tell yes, you. Yes, you did. About that. I took it as such because you were talking about how, yeah, you know, I took it. I was trying to impress them, and I was like, No, oh, no, no, I yes, definitely did. Yes, yeah, I wish I recorded. Positive, it. I didn't say that. I, I was there. You were too. Yes, and I said, how come? How come you didn't? Ladonna, well, that's not true. I'm, I'm almost positive. I mean, I, I can, I can gamble on that one, and I don't gamble anymore. But I'm trying to say, when that, was the last time you gambled? That's, that's a boundary? good question. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. When was the last I, time you gambled? When was the last time I gambled? It's been, you know, it has not been long enough. How about that? I'll say it's I'll been a year. It. You know what? It's probably going on a year, if 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 not a little less. Probably probably around Christmas, I guess l- less than that. You know, because I have a problem with gambling, so I shouldn't gamble at that's all. That's a that's a demon. Yeah, that's a demon. Yep. Yeah. But you know what? I'm gonna continue to. I actually forgot to start praying. Uh, well, I forgot to pray for your demons that. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, that that's so, so sweet. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. That's very sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah you probably have. The, <laughs> that's yeah. very sweet. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna definitely pray for your demons. Oh, um, that's very sweet. You know, you put those music up for that. Oh, do I? This I one know, right here. Do you have one? I, I don't have. You have like all. an angelic one. I'd have this one. You know, no, I don't have an all. Yeah. There's no all in divorced. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, another. I guess another b- a boundary would be, um. Do you still, what do you call your in-laws when you're divorced? That's not a boundary. I just had a question. Like, should I still call your mother my mother-in-law? No, I do. Or do I just call her, she doesn't like it when I call her Catherine. Well, you know what, you call her whatever you want, but. um, She didn't like that. I mean, she introduced herself to me as Kathleen, but she doesn't want me to call her that. Should I call her Mrs. Robinson? I think, I think you really have to have your in-laws have to be a separate relationship. So therefore, whatever relationship you establish with her is your relationship with her. So if she's Mrs. Robinson to you, she's I've heard of that. I've always, I've always, I've always, I've always, I called her mom. That is not something you did that that is like a 
you know, if you call her mom because she's a mother figure to you, or you call her this, that, and the other. So it's I not, called her mom because she was your mom. Hmm. Okay. okay. Why'd you call my mother? Did you ever call her at all? Yeah, I think what, so. What did you say? Call her mom. Call her mom. You still call her mom? I don't know what I call her. Mom, what does Warren call you? Is she Warren? No, she's she's not. Oh, anyway, I know that. I guess I'm. You know, I don't. Even, I know I don't call her her name. So I want to find out. Yeah, you can call her and find out because I really don't know what I call your mom. Wow, it's like that. Okay, hold on. We're gonna call my mama. That's a mess. I don't know. I don't want to be. Oh my goodness, that's gonna. Yeesh. It's okay. Not a boundary. It's my mother. Yeah, I don't remember what, what do I call her. Now, oh, you won't be able to hear her. Listen. Hey, mom, you're on Divorced and Move On with LaDonna Ray and Warren I. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. I'm good. Warren, say hi. Well, you can't. You got to put on speaker. Well, if I put on speaker, you won't be able to hear it on the show. Oh. Yeah, so you got, you know, maybe oh, you cool. should. Okay. No, no, no. That's okay. Okay. So, you got to listen. No, no. I can hear. I can hear. Hey, hello. Hey. Oh, hey, so Warren, that's what you how are you, her. baby? Yeah. No. <laughs> hey, mom. There you go. That's mom. Answer this uh -huh. question. What does Warren call you when he calls you? He doesn't. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi. He says hi or hey? Hey, that's all. He oh, never calls. You're right. You're, you're right. You're right. Well, you're you right. know what, Mom? I'm guilty too. I do the same thing to his mom. That's the same thing. <laughs> okay. That's all I needed, Mama. We'll call you later. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Okay, we're going to call your mama I now. Not. Your mama may not answer my call. <laughs> she'll answer. She'll answer. No, she'll be like, oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm in New York having dinner. <laughs> I'm living like a rich woman. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, that's. Yeah, well, I mean, your mom sounds the same way as you just mentioned. You just, how you just said it right there. Your mom sounds exactly like that. They are some. Yeah, lie. yeah, your mom sounds exactly like. Her. Okay, you say hi first. There she is. Hello. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Um, Ladonna wants to talk to you. Um, we're doing the show. She asked me to. Anyway, um, mom, when Ladonna calls you, what does she call you? What does uh, she? What is she? When she and when she says, um, when you when you answer the phone and she says, you know, what does she say? I, I don't remember. I told her one day she called me. She called me something, and I told her I felt bad that, that she called me something like uh, Mrs. Robinson or something. She didn't she didn't call me Big Mama. Okay, so 90% of the time she calls you what? Or, you know. Horn, Horn, I don't remember. Please. I'm just like you. I don't remember. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't she says hi she does not say now, anything I've, you know what i've never from day one called you big mama because when you introduced yourself nope. to me no so when she introduced herself to me she called she said i'm kathleen and i said oh nice to meet you and then she said what do you think about the name big mama and i was like i i can't call nobody big mama big, the big mama i knew had big ankles and she was mean and and you laughed and I never called you Big Mama. Okay. okay. No, no, no. Uh, I don't. I don't require you to call me Big Mama. Right. I want my my kids to call me Big Mama. And a lot of people, when I introduce myself now, I said my name is Big Mama, so they'll remember me. Yep. Yep. And, but but that's only in California, and I don't have any slack about it. Okay. Okay. Because everybody at my church calls me Big Mama. Oh, okay. Well, it was so nice talking to you. Okay, mom. I'll talk to you later. Okay. All you right. all nice time. Okay. You too. Good night. Night night. I do the same thing. Hey. Yeah. Hey. I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, what do you do? Like when 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 the when that divorce happens, it's like, do you still keep your same best friends? Because I haven't I haven't heard from our friends. Our friends? Yeah, you, you got the. I don't know if I should, I should say, but uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. You can say, you can say from, yeah, yeah. Of course, his you, you, wife. you can talk. Okay, so Colin and his wife, Tony. Oh, uh, they moved. 
Where'd they move to? They moved to Wisconsin. I talked to them last time I was here. And, um, they don't talk to me. Yeah. Ever since we broke up, I haven't heard. No, well, I don't talk to them either. Uh, oh. They moved. Like I said. Okay. Well, I this- thought you were talking about my um other friend that you actually knew. We all, we kind of knew at the same time almost. Oh. Back to Sebastian. Oh, um. my. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're watching divorce and move on. And that's what we're going to do. And uh, one, one thing, you know what? Boundaries. Oh my God. I got one. I got one. I got one. Here's a boundary. I don't have when Warren and I were married. Who did I want to become friends with? Wow. Man, that's amazing. She does not have any boundaries. She wants to be friends with my ex-girlfriends. I, I did. She wants to be, and she was very good friends with one of them. That yep. I was, you know, that I was, you know, neutral with or whatever. You know, wow. And then on top of that, it's been more than one, all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, I can't can't count as far as how many, <laughs> which is amazing. But, but on the on the other hand, I'm not the same way with you. Right. You didn't you didn't want to meet my baby's daddy. Just, you know, that's another thing we want to re-explore. I don't know what my mindset was, but I, you know, it was like I wasn't gonna pursue it, mm-hmm. you know. I wasn't going to pursue it. Now, let's say if the situation was approached, then, of course, I'm going to go do it. But I, you wanted me maybe to go out my way and actually go ahead and, and pursue it. And uh, I believe that's how I saw it anyway. Probably. But you know what? Uh, you mentioned something last week. By the way, last week was a very good show. Um, but you mentioned something that made me think. I presented, I presented him in a terrible way. But when I think about the things that I said, it wasn't I didn't present him in a terrible way. I just simply told you he didn't help me with my son. And that was terrible enough. You know what? You told me some stuff, and I don't want to go about his. Oh, that he was. Uh, yeah, some that other he was stuff. dependent on some things. Yeah. So yeah. it's not. It's not. It's no. Everybody. Everybody has issues yeah. and everything yeah, that, like that. That's so, a but demon. I'm just. That's a demon. I'm just trying to say that I, when I when I was told about it, and on top of that, guess what? I probably had some things I had to work out with myself. So you know, I don't. I have no idea what my mindset was all together. I just know that you, um, um, I wanted. I wanted to just go ahead and, you know, to talk to you. And I think you wanted me to go ahead and, you know, like, I thought it was kind of yeah, odd, like yeah. go ahead and pursue a relationship with your exes. And I thought that was crazy. Now, I don't I never said, hey, pursue a relationship with my exes. They presented themselves, on, on, on you know, in some roundabout ways because we had to do some business and they were just there, you know. And. OK, that's a good question. Would you become friends with my next husband? Is the ex husband? I think I think I think that. First and foremost, I would have to have a relationship with him because I would want, you know, I would want whoever, you know, I want to have a relationship with him because of my kids. Mm-hmm. So therefore, I mean, it, are you guys gonna tailgate though? I don't think the was been and the next been. I don't think it's gonna be like that. But hey, you know what? It might be. You know, I don't want to. No, I, I don't think so. What if they think... like the White Sox? You like the White Sox? They he'd have to be. Um, actively pursuing my kids into being the White Sox fans. You know, oh. See, now that would basically, you know, that would. Oh, okay. So you're trying to, you know, push my kids into, you know, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, of course, I think those are great. You know, there's a whole lot of different things too. So not just that. It's it's um how they, uh, you know, there's a whole lot of factors in it. You know. Okay, I got another question. Go would you have a problem with me trying to be besties with your next wife? You know what this is the thing about it is. So I try my best to not talk about you um in any light other than positive. And so I'm sure they would they would be open to it. I don't know. I don't know. But I talked to one young lady and she said she's very private, you know, just just private. She's like super private. And so probably, I mean, that part of, you know, I'm going to tell you this, that part of her that's so private is not attractive because I was married to you that was so, whoa, whoa, you know, and so that part, you know, it's almost like, you know, trying one side and another, you know. And I was married to you and you were so. Yeah, maybe so. I don't know if I was, I know I was going along and I just didn't, I just didn't go kicking this. I wasn't running there around with you, you know, running right beside no, you, it. you. But I didn't kick and scream and, you know, you pulled me along like I'm on the show right now. I mean, you did a whole lot of stuff that I was not, like said, oh, we, I wanted to do it. That's but true. I'm going to tell you this. I wish I would have been more supportive and when you were doing those videos, because all the time I see the videos doing now, I'm thinking, 
I did that 10 years ago. 10 years ago, she was doing all that. These all these uh videos and everything. She was doing those like to the upteenth degree um 10 years ago, putting them together and, and you know doing them. So maybe she didn't keep it up with it, but I tell you what, maybe if I you know nurtured it and said, okay, I'm on board more. And hey, but she was doing it so much though. It was like in the beginning of YouTube. Um, she was right on it. And I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's not like she gave it up. She just maybe she just didn't get watered. I, got, enough. I, got, I had another baby. Two oh, yeah, them. maybe so. Maybe so. Maybe yeah, that was it. Was a lot of you kids. think that was it? I know that you were was doing it. it still, though. Uh, that was exhausting. Having more kids. Jesus. Well, you just know you were doing it. That's all I can say. Breastfeeding. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she was God. doing it while she was having kids. You were videotaping and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's like this. So this this person. It's like, no. In fact, I don't, you know, in fact, right now, I'm like, You're saying too much. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. I don't know what that person might be. The same. Private person, you keep being you, girl. Be yeah. you. Be private. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, what you t- when am I going to meet her, though? I have no problem with it. It's just, I, don't, I don't know. If she, I don't know. I don't Is she know. cute? I hope so. I, don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't, you don't know. know. I really, I, I think that. You never met her? I think the she's so private you don't no, know what she no, looks yeah, like. No. I think uh beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So you know what I might think is attractive might not be what you think is. I'm not looking at another woman saying it, that she's well, you cute. just asked me though. I asked the you question. if she's cute from your perspective. Well then yeah, of course. I wouldn't be dating her if I thought so. I'm just not doing your perspective well, or, or, or in general stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You've been with some trolls. I'm sorry. I have. Yeah. I don't think I have. Mm. No. No, actually, no, that's not true. Um, okay, so we had, uh, broke <laughs> we had broke up in the middle of marriage or whatever, and and she had saw the young lady that I was dating while we were separated for a little while. Mm. Now you tell the story, then how about that? And you tell the truth. All right, because I because I'm just telling you what you because I really do. We I mean, will we will we will say that her name is Susie. Okay. All right. Because I don't remember. So Susie. <laughs> Uh, Lo- Warren and I was going to say Logan Warren and I broke up um, in the middle of our marriage like you said and I left and when I came back there was some residue not panties or anything just messages but Warren my arms were really bothering me you remember my arms were hurting a lot hold on what are you going with this what do you mean what, 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 are, are you, you talking about the chick that had the two kids I knew where she lived and where you- the kids went to school and I gave her a call I didn't. I didn't know you knew that she had two kids, but she did have two kids. Yeah, she yes. had a girl and a boy. Wow. Yeah, I know their names too. You want them? No, I don't want them. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You oh, still talk to her? Mm-mm. I guess not. Oh, I do know her name now. It just came to my my mind. My mind just came yeah. popped in my head. Don't say it. All I right. Won't. So watch this, Susie. Uh, was you remembered her name from the beginning, didn't you? Oh, I remember her real name. Wow. Yeah. Real, real name. Yeah. Her name was not Susie. Well, I'm not saying. That. Hold on. Hold on. I know that's an earned, but when you were just, when you said Susie, you didn't have to say Susie because you remembered her name. Exactly. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. She was coming for you. Go ahead. So anyway, uh, while we were broken up, they were spending time at the park with the children. Now I know. Now I oh. know what I told you. With my kids too. Okay. So my kids didn't say nothing for some reason. But. um, Our kids. Okay. Actually, they yoki is the night because I'm mad at them. Go ahead. So, yeah, they were spending time at the park, taking family photos. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. They were all in a photo together. I, I was heated. I, when I saw that, I was heated. But it was during my time gone. I, I'm the one that left. But she kept communicating. I don't understand this. This what? is not the part that I want you to tell the story oh, about. This, oh, is not the part you, this is not the part that I want you to tell the story about. All right. Well, I'll tell it quickly. So here's the thing. Uh, she was inboxing him. How about she was telling him? You know what? Hold on. Hold on. What? Do me don't, a favor. Don't tell no, me? I'm, hold on. I want you to tell you that she was an attractive woman. That's the only thing I want you to do. I, all, all the other part, you went a little bit too far. That heifer was pretty. <laughs> yeah, she was. And younger. Okay, that's all. That's it. But when she inboxed you on how to tell me how to You know, do- this craziness part is this. That was not part of the story that we were that's talking part about. Of the story, though. That was not part of the story we were talking about. That we were just talking about the story, the part that I want, that you were saying, oh, you don't, you be dating some unattractive woman. Okay. Well, no, you don't. But you had that one troll. 
I just told you she was. Okay, decent. so the young lady that was a lawyer. I think she was. She was from Nigeria or something. Nigeria. Ghana. What? Ghana Ria. I think. Uh, I, you talking? Hold on. Hold she on. like a man. I just knew she was saying, "How does that feel, baby?" Wow. What? You didn't even like how she looked. What do you no, I think that, that I just I sent you a picture of her. Basically, oh, not for reminded to, me. Let me see if I can. Find no, I sent you a picture of her because I was like, I don't know, I, I don't know why, but I didn't know that you were going to be like, oh, she's ugly, and I like that. Well, I didn't say that because I didn't want to break your little heart. Plus, um, it it, it looked no, good on no, my no, Instagram no, that you were with that looked like she did. I was versus. not, I was not dating her, but. Uh, can, you won't let me tell the story about Susie. It's not a it's not a good story. It really was. I called Susie. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I gotta tell this. It's so good. She told so, me that to um she told me that you would be, you would do that. She said, Oh, she you better erase my number. That she told me. I remember that part. She said, Raise my number. My number's in my phone. For real? I right, yeah, I kept that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I called her no. from my phone. What are you talking about? And didn't you have her saved in your phone as Mike or something? It was just oh wow. listen, uh, you are really going back details and and um <laughs> okay, here's the thing. It's so funny. You are you're joking with me. What? You're joking, you do not have her number. I do have her number. You want me to pull it up? You want to call her? No, Let's I don't want to call I don't want to call her. I don't want to call her. Oh my god! I don't want to call her, but I don't believe that you have her number. I do, I got it. I got it. So watch this. This have I mean this woman. I called her and I was like, I said, hi. She said, hello. I said, this is Mrs. This is Mrs. Robinson. And she said, oh, hi. Trained and groomed. It's so nice to talk to you. Warren talks about you all the time. I said, wow, thank you so much. It's so nice talking to you as well. She was like, yeah, you know, I said, how do you guys know each other? Oh, we've been, we, we've seen each other at the park. You know, our kids play together. I said, yeah, that, that's what I thought, too, until I saw your inbox messages on his social media telling me how to give him fellatio. Well, that's not a bad thing. Actually, I mean, by the way, she gave me some tips, though, girl. Girl, thanks for telling me to get the bag of hauls. That was a good tip. Listen, I think we're, we're way after, after the path. And even though I didn't use it with you, I've used it. But here's the thing. I really, this I boundaries really, what, that, 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 that we were talking about. Uh -huh. This is the, this is the this example. What? This is example. No, this example of boundaries. Okay, all right. Well, I'm sure you example. got things you you can throw out there too. But no, but here's. No. Oh my goodness, no. Okay, all right. That's up to you. No, but um, I yeah. just really want to say that I called her, and as a woman, guys, don't get mad at the woman. I didn't get mad at her for telling Warren how to tell me how to. Perform. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. Let me let me give let me give you some more details since we're calling her Susie and not her name, and we'll never know. My this. name is not Susan. I I kid you not. We were when, when me and her were together, you and I were not together. And I know I said that. Okay, great, 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 great. Yeah, but, you're um, not a cheater. Yeah, she she basically wasn't, you know, that bad. She wasn't bad, but I've dated her. Um, I went out with her again after I got divorced. And, uh, you no, know, she... Um, Wait, what? I, I went thought out you said her. she was getting married. Well, you no. You went out since 2019? Yeah, I went, I went out with her, yeah, yeah, like uh, 20... 20, I guess. I don't know, when, I don't know what year it was, but I sat there, I was walking... And I could not believe. I was like, what? Oh, and so we hooked back up as far as, you know, dated. But that's about it. Anyway, so, I don't know. So when you say hooked back up. No, like, this this date, this date, this date. This dated this date. like what? Like you took her out? Did she pay? Did you pay? I cannot remember. Was her kids you know, there? No, her kids definitely weren't there. In fact, yeah, we. um. Did you she, go back to her house? No, no. Oh. I don't know. It's, it's, it was so long ago. Oh, she doesn't. So long. That was two years ago. No, two years ago. Like I said, you know. Long ago. Was yeah. it the pandemic? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. It was doing the pandemic. So you were supposed to be staying at home, but you were staying with a home. Home. No, she's a good girl. She wasn't a home. She's a good girl. She was just waiting for you. Lying, saying she was. I thought, I thought it was over married. with. I thought it was over with after, after that little thing, but it wasn't, you know, over. That made her want you more. You're welcome. Know. 
You're Nothing. welcome. I mean, we didn't, it doesn't happen. So what, where is she now? Call her. No, no. Yeah, you are. Call her. You know, I don't want to call her because I don't want to. I don't know. Her. I don't think you have her number. I, what do you think? What do you, you don't, what's her name? I forgot. No, I'm not. I'm not going to tell you. Wait, I, let me see. Warren, her name was A, B. No, you don't know. Starts her with an S. Nope. Yes, it does. No, it does not. Oh, P. Yep. Sure does. Yep. P O no P A P E. You know you you know people can basically. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll we'll find it. Remember it now. Ooh, you in trouble now. It starts with a P. Maybe. No, it does. I remember now. You got better memory than I do. Yeah, that's okay. You remember I'm... what you want to remember, like her that booty. Okay, well, well yeah, you know what? I, 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 tell you I what. know it's in here somewhere, but that's not what this show is about. But this would be so much fun. You if think I... so? Okay, maybe not. You I'm think that would be fun? Oh, dang, I can't talk to him in a minute. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, P.O. It was. It's P.O. Okay, no, you're lucky. I'll, right. just, I'll just say you passed it on one of those screens. I did? Yep. Damn. I saw it. And I was like, my goodness, I saw it on there. <laughs> I told you it was in here. Yeah, I saw it on there. You saw no, it? No, you know what? Don't worry about it. I shouldn't have said nothing. It's not on there. You can't hold it. No. Ah! Ah! I see it. I see it. Oh my God. I should call her. I should call her. What do you think would happen? She won't answer. I have no idea. Oh my God. Okay. No, I'm well, not going to do that. You call her. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I mean, I can care less, but I, I don't think it would. I, I told you I had her number. I see it. Now, this is something that you, the divorced people might do. Uh, do you think <laughs> the other divorced people do this? Nah. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, I don't. I really don't. I think mm, that we're. A spe think... I'm special. Yeah, you're special. I'm not a jealous person, and people don't believe me when I say that. But I'm really not a jealous person unless I'm being lied to. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm, the truth. Mm -hmm. So when I what what you gotta look away for? Yeah, I know. Am no, I jealous? You think I'm a jealous? No, person? no, no. I think you're weird. I am. I'm very weird. And you told me I was a lot to handle, but even more to lose. So don't forget that, brother. I think that was wrong. That was wrong deep. <laughs> Which one should yeah. I do? I don't know. That was not funny, though. <laughs> you might be right. You might be right. You're watching Divorce and Now Move On, and we're going to change that title. Did I know it, we are. Do you have a laugh track? Like, uh, I, Yeah, I do. Oh, I should have played this yeah. one. Oh, wait, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like white <laughs> What's the other one? Womp, womp. Yes. Yeah, that would have been. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Womp, womp. <laughs> All right. So, um, would it be hard for you to see me happily married with someone else? Hard to see you. Mm -hmm. Or would you be like, man, thanks? Neither one of those. Neither one of those. Neither one of those. I don't think it'd be hard, and I don't think I'd be like, thanks. Well, maybe if I say thanks, you know, I'm happy for you. Maybe I say thanks because I'm happy for you. Okay. You know I'm going to invite you to the wedding. Okay. Are you coming? That's a good question. I think I would come. My kids are going to be there. I'll come. Okay. I'm going to hold you to it. All right. Same question. Oh, definitely. No, me. Would you invite me to the Def wedding? I said, oh, definitely. Oh, okay. You'll invite me and I'm coming. Yeah. I'm definitely getting that free meal and I'm not bringing a gift. <laughs> you know, it's more about the, um, the, uh, the wife or the woman than it is. Yeah, for the she's man, not so. going to want me there. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. so, so it's more like, you know, I'm not exactly, you know, you would probably have more control over me coming than I would have control over you coming. No, I'm so. not telling them who you are. It's like, who's Warren? That's my guy. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. But you would have, you understand that you would have more control over me coming to your wedding then I would have control over you coming to mine. I'm coming anyway, whether she wants me there or not. I don't think that would be a good idea. Probably not, but I'll be there. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I just think that that would be, that would, you know what, that would not be a good idea. It wouldn't. You're no fun. But I'm just trying to say, it wouldn't be no good. I mean, it wouldn't be no fun. I mean, it would, it would, if, you know, honestly, <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> sit there and have, you know, I'm going to try and get married to somebody and I'm sit there and I'm, I'm going to let, you know, somebody else come in. So, somebody else? Well, 
Somebody would not be the bodies that would but be. But you said somebody else. Yes, yes. Well, she's the somebody. No, she's not the somebody. She'd be my wife. And if you can't understand that, I'm then that the would. somebody? Yes, you would be the I somebody. Just got downgraded. I'm your children's mother. No, actually, you would be the somebody that my body, I'm my, your my, kid's my mother. No, 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 see, that's not good. You have to respect, have to respect I gave birth. marriage. Okay, that's a good question. Have you, would you, do you believe in divorce? Do you, would you get divorced again? Would no. you get married again? Would you get divorced again? That's why I'm taking my time getting married. I'm not, I, I want to get married again. And I, I thank you for training me on how to be a better wife. But I want to get married again, but I don't want to get married to get divorced. That's a good question, Warren. And I, I, you know, I'm always telling them, keep your families together, even though I did not. But it is, it's hell. We went through hell. Yeah, we went through hell to get yeah. even to this point. But Warren, you know, people ask me, people are starting to ask me, what was what was what was the problem? Did Warren beat me? No. Did Warren cheat on me? No. Um, anyway, but, long but but we just couldn't strike that match. And so now as I get older, it's like, dang, I'm I'm supposed to fight for my marriage. I'm supposed to be married 20 years in a few years, not starting at one. That's ridiculous to me. To be 50 years old almost trying to find my husband. That's real. I feel like I do it all the time. So I don't know, get, but it just, about it. to me, it just feels weird. Like even, even having a boyfriend at this age feels weird. Like, I mean, I don't have one, but I, I'm saying like, why would I say at 50? Oh, I got a boyfriend. He's some, he's a man. Like you're too old to be having a boyfriend. You're not too old to have a girlfriend. Men date young women all the time, but my old butt. Um, I'll tell you this. I had a um, I was um, I went out um Monday, which was a holiday, and I went to um a beach, and so I had invited some people there. I think I told you about it. I was going to the beach, and I invited some people there, and um, there was this young lady that came there, and I was like, wow, okay, real nice, all that kind of stuff, and and she was she brought somewhat someone with her and he was five foot five big old gigantic gut and he was um you know balding he, no it wasn't balding yeah was you no know, he had no it was you know well not, not that attractive I, i'm not gonna go on that attractiveness and all that kind of stuff but i'll just tell you what, that was he, he easy on the eyes well you couldn't i'll just see can, let so me just finish my story how about that i thought his conversation was weak and his personality was weak. Oh, dang. And his, you know, his per, uh, you know, I, well, well, maybe he didn't, you know, he wasn't trying to, he wasn't trying to holler at me. So I guess Did he have fat pockets though? No. Dang. No. What was she doing? Yeah. No, on top of that. So she was a very, uh, she didn't have any kids. He had five kids. He had five kids. He must've been charming somewhere. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so basically, um, this is something that and on top of that, I wasn't being because first and foremost, to be completely honest with you, I had I told the group I was having this thing, you know, I was like, okay, I'm having this thing. And this young lady said, Oh, I want to come. And she exchanged numbers to with me. And I'm like, you know, okay, we changed numbers. Mm -hmm. We exchanged numbers and all this kind of stuff. And so I'm getting kind of mixed signals because he's basically trying to tell me, he's been trying to tell me this is his girl. But I kid you not, I didn't get that like confirmation because at one time we went to an event and I saw her there and I, went, you know, it was a, it was something I had to go and he was going there or whatever. And so she was outside. I said, okay, well, you, are you one of the presenters? Cause she wasn't inside. I thought she was ready to come in and do a presentation. So I'm like that. And she says, she said this to me and she didn't have to say anything. She could have said the guy's name or whatever, but she says, I'm waiting for my ride. And so I got, took that as they are just, you know, they were platonic friends and they might have been whatever. You said, baby, you need a ride. I'll give you a ride. <laughs> no, I didn't say anything. So I was late for my appointment that I had to go to. So I went in there. But when she said that to me, I thought she was telling me that, no, this is nothing. And so um, I, I, I knew she was telling me there was nothing because this young lady is actually, I mean, I wouldn't say she's like a 10 and all like that, but she's definitely like, you know, Somebody I can get to know better or whatever. But I was so shocked. 
So the, the, I guess the moral of that story is that what is the moral? yeah the moral of the story is don't that, date short men with five kids and no pockets. Yeah, that um, because you don't have a car. No, because I'm like, how in the world am I single? You know, oh. I'm thinking this guy has this 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 girl. Yeah, and I'm thinking he and I'm not saying he's five 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 four five five. There was another young lady that was there that I was not too much interested in. Wait, how in. tall was she? She was t- uh, shorter than him. She was probably about 5'2". Oh, yeah. yeah. His 5'5 five five is like her five or six feet. No, because she loves to wear heels. And she wears heels. Oh, well. Yeah, she wears heels. So anyway, so this, this is the whole story. Um, and, you know, I guess this is national and all that kind of stuff. And probably everybody's going like, I know who you're talking about if they're, if they're listening to me. <laughs> if they are, because it's like, There's only one person dating a man that's five five with five kids and no car and no pockets and big gut. It'd be terrible if they were watching this. It would be terrible because I'm not trying to tell their their business at all. But all I'm right. thinking the chances of that are slim. Okay, um, production team, I need you to roll back, edit this out, keep talking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's terrible if I was. Come back, but um, so I'm I'm going um no no. I'm not going to another person there. It said, you know, I would never date someone that's, you know, five, five. And I guess she was, might be interested. I might, but, um, I, I just, I just cannot understand how in the world, you know, this how you're single, how this situation is. I can answer that. Okay. Go ahead. You're, you said I'm weird. You're weird. Yeah. Very, very much. so. And women don't like weird. Oh, well, I will. Okay. Well, they do. They, they, well, initially they do. How about that? You initially. Are, you are socially awkward. Very much so. You are, you, you're ready to jump out of your skin. If you're at a location too long, you're ready to go. It's called antsy. Antsy. That's it. Thank you. Because I know myself. Yeah. And yeah, that a lot. Yeah. Now conversation wise, you're smart. I'm okay. I think you're smart. I'm okay. You're making me look bad, man. You're smart. Mm-hmm. But uh, in the conversation, I don't know. You might be very highly focused on what you listen to respond. I do. Yes. You listen to respond instead of letting the person know that you heard what they said. So if I were to tell you. Probably just didn't hear. Right. Because you're focused on what you want to say. Mm-hmm. I, that's just my observation for 12 years of marriage. And I probably just didn't hear, but I, it, any of those times in 12 years, you didn't hear. Well, well, I, I think I was already, I've already admitted to a lot of the things, you know, you know. Now, as far as you being single, I think that any woman in her right mind that wants a safe, See that right there. Safe is right there is the X word. There you go. All that other stuff, you can be weird. You can be this. You can be that. Safe is the one thing that is keeping me from being uh, uh, involved. Safe. That word. You are safe. but I That I, word. I think that you also are afraid of rejection, so you don't go in for the kill. No. I, I, am, I, I definitely so. go in for the kill. You go in. Oh, but you go in too soon? Because you. No. You did. I've seen that a few times. I remember. Oh, we won't talk about that. That's not true at all. No, I'm not talking about that kill. I'm talking about being impatient. Your patients are very thin. If anything, you if this, can't. I, you would not be able to have that testimony. I'm very patient now. No, what I mean by that testimony for me to go to you, I think you won't have that testimony for no, me. No, no, no. You, you didn't come to me. We didn't move. Well, we met each other in February of 2008. We started dating in September of 2008. We got engaged October of 2008. We got married November of 2008. We got pregnant December of 2008. That was conception. But what do you mean conception? That was that was pregnant. Well, you know what? I you know this is the part where I'm saying. Oh, you saying I got pregnant in November? Oh, yeah, maybe so. What? This is the part. Oh, this the boundaries? Is the yeah. That's a boundary? No, this is the part where I'm saying, okay, my, my, um, I have no problem talking about the part up until, up until, I guess, 
tell them my business business. You know, okay, you can... I understand. But that was just factual. Yeah, that's I think, what I'm saying. Factuals I, is that's yeah. the part. I think that, um, ladies, if you're watching, I am here to endorse Warren and say that he's a good guy. He doesn't lie. In fact, he can't lie. That's a problem, too. Um, if you look fat in your dress. Okay, you know what? Let me say this. How about this? How about this? How about this? Let's go here. Let's go here. <laughs> I'm sure. Because I'm, I'm I'm probably, I'm positive one or one or, or more is, uh, person that I've asked to watch this show is watching this show, which is somebody that I might be. Are they fat? No, I'm talking about okay, like all the other so stuff. What am I saying then? I'm I'm saying if you ask Warren a question, he's oh I should that's a secret secret weapon. Is that a weakness? I'm just thinking all. Uh, he's not a liar. On, I mean that's a good thing. You're, this, you're not a liar. You're not a liar. And and pe- women ask, beg and pray for an honest man. I did. But but you know some people can't handle the truth. Okay, let's talk about your you're single because um I'm single because I dumped him. I, I I I yeah, I hit it and quit it. I'm sorry, I'm I'm unapologetically me. I, I don't want to put up with BS, especially when I don't feel protected. So I'm single because I don't want to settle anymore, ever. Not that I settled with you, I'm just I don't ever want to settle. I'm too old to settle. And once that red flag, I see red flags and I'll still try to fix them. Okay, let me say this. Yeah. Everyone, regardless. See how you just cut me off. Everyone. That's, that's single. Well, everyone has. I'm just talking about red flags. I'm talking about, I think that's yeah, something just, that's all important. All I said was red flag and you took it. I think everyone has issues. Is this some issues you want yeah, to but, take? But, but people have baggage. What do you think about baggage at our age, right? We bring if they baggage. don't have baggage, they're aliens. Okay, but you have to unpack that baggage. They're aliens. You have to unpack it and deal with your issues. Like you can't come into a relationship with your baggage and ex- and then throw it all on in front of the person in front of you and expect them to unpack it. That's not right. That's well, not fair. Well, I guess they, everybody stay single then. <laughs> Boss Lady Plus Two is okay with it. That's my girl. But shout out to Boss Lady Plus Two. For me, I don't want to stay single. Well, I, I want. I want. There's, everybody's gonna. Everybody's gonna have baggage. Unpack that shit. I'm not. I'm not the TSA. I don't understand what you're saying. I'm that. saying I'm not unpacking your baggage. I'm trying to say everybody's got it. I don't have any baggage. What you think? Because I have kids, I have baggage. You know what? Because you're my ex husband, I got baggage. Everyone has baggage i mean you know i'm not gonna i'm not I'm, that's not my job okay, to my job is not my job is not to point out yours nor is yours to point out mine but everybody's got it well, i can point yours out well i'm just saying it's not your job though what baggage do you have i mean my baggage louis vuitton's is a louis vuitton bag <laughs> Let me stop. listen it's it's um yeah that's oh, the yeah that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were late on that one huh? yeah i was because I was so uh, distracted. Yeah. But um, no, I, I, I feel like as a, at a certain age, like dating potential men is good when you're in your 20s. Okay. How about this? Well, there's more to it. <clears throat> dating people who are partially potential and halfway there is for in your 30s. Dating your, people who, who. There's one more. In your 40s, you should be there. Guess what? You are there, and what you are dating is there. Therefore, date and just keep on going and stop putting some type of, um, you know, this is what it's supposed to be. What it's supposed to be is what's there. Are you supposed to be unemployed? No. Then, Because you no. ain't got time to date if you don't no. have a job. I think that people who are unemployed, um, honestly, I think that, that um, people who are unemployed also have to, you know, work balance, work balance or balance or whatever. So, I mean, they need love as well, sometimes even more so. So I'm not, I'm trying to say that you, you know, definitely a, um, a balance, no, a no, cakewalk. No, it, it, it's something that is, one needs love. So well, okay. Well, emotional intelligence though. There you go. 100% on that one. Now, if you don't have emotional intelligence, that, that's it. You're going to have a problem. Like for instance, Never mind. Yeah, me. When I was, you know, years, I think I have a lot more emotional intelligence now. Really? 
a positive. Where'd you thing. learn it from? I don't know. Maybe it was just life, I guess. But I, most I, I, I didn't teach you any of that, huh? Okay. Maybe I'm sure. But right. listen, let me let me just say this, okay? Um, I am um very. I think my emotional intelligence has grown. Congratulations. So it is uh, where I I'm I'm I'm, I'm wiser. <laughs> um, I think that um, you know, I want to. Um, ex- I want to. I mean, I I know I read a little bit more as far as relationships. I know I read a lot more um, self help books since our divorce, and I'm sure that is. Why uh, weren't you reading them when we were together? I don't know why. I don't know. I think that was kind of the that was another unintelligent, emotional intelligent thing to do is to you know not to seek uh, help uh, in any kind of way. So that's very much so. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you this. I'll next time I'll explore and I'll tell you all the all the. Um, the avenues that I took and what I what I did, but that's going for next time because this show is is, is definitely without a doubt has been it, it's been um, entertaining. One, one's ready to jump out his seat. Watch, he's looking at the clock. He's like, "Okay, that's enough." Right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Well, guess what? He's right. We are coming up on our hour on divorced and we need to name this show. Okay, yeah, divorced and awkward. I like that because you know I'm awkward like that all right cool we'll figure it out but for now it is divorced and now move on but we'll probably change it because that that doesn't have a ring to it I'm not feeling that okay Are you? I don't know I you know it's okay with me oh boy there you it's go okay. agreeing again all right so watch this I'm LaDonna Ray and Warren I Warren I and we're you're watching or you've watched divorced and now move on but the main word is divorced, okay? Um, we divorced. Talk, yes, divorced. We talked about... Uh, oh, how about this? What, happily what? divorced. Oh, oh. Are you happily divorced? No. I wouldn't say I'm happy being divorced. But that's totally different. I think that maybe if you... Um, Unhappily divorced now, and I'm just nah, saying, that, hey, no, it works. Are, work. People to think that, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to sit there. We're not. Well, this is not a show for us to get back together. This is a show for me to support. Um, no, then I'll be, you. I'll be the black orange is new black. If we got back together, I'd be yeah. locked up. Well, anyway, long story short, is it's it's it's. Uh, I'm, I think that. Um, I think I, I like happily divorced. Because even though we're not unhappily divorced, no, because even though we're not happy that we had to divorce, we are happy now. Happily divorced. Happily divorced. All right, that's the name happily show. divorced and awkward. Happily divorced is awkward. All right, that's it. <laughs> Check us out next Friday. You'll come tune in with us either at 8 or 9 p.m. Central Time. Uh, Warren is just an amazing co-host. He has actually come out of his shell. This is awesome and funny. You think but so? If you, <laughs> if you are a couple that is uh, divorced or split up or now, now you're in a happy place or you want to get to a happy place, reach out to the show because we would love to have you on here because our goal is to basically... Uh, to help you, oops, oh, let's change that. Uh, our goal is to give you hope in going in a positive direction. Even though shenanigans happen up to that point, our goal is, isn't it our goal to get them to a happy place? Yeah. You were kind of feeling I the tell, drama I, though. I, I, Last drama. week you were like, oh. No, I wasn't feeling no drama. Oh, okay, with, right. with, with our, our guest, I mean, I was trying my best to calm it down. You know, I was right. trying to well, damp it down. I was going to say, because what happened just now, might have been what happened in a story that I was to- uh, told with the young lady I was dating, whatever. And um, um, long story short is that you know how you uh, saw something that came up on your phone. Oh, you saw the who called me? Yeah, yeah. You want to call him? No. I mean, I can call him. No, now. I don't. Actually, I don't know. I just he watches the show. The idea came up. That's all. But listen, I probably should have talked to her offline because actually, I'm. You know, I'm gonna call that girl though. You are. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't care. I don't, yeah, about to say. because I'm just joking. Geez, but I am coming to the wedding. All right, y'all. Here's the deal. We'll see you next Friday on our new show. We don't know the name of it. We'll figure it out. But this has been fun. Thank you so much for supporting us. Make sure you subscribe 
and comment and let us know how you like Warren I. I'm I'm just really feeling his uh his his uh co- what am I trying to say? I don't know. What are you trying to say? Contribution. I couldn't think oh, okay. of the word. Wow, that's amazing. A lot has happened in the past 48 hours. <laughs> but we won't be uh in person next week. We will be remote and I I might be out of town. I don't there you know. go. Yeah. That's so what I'm I might be about. sipping on a Mai Tai. That's what up. Be like, what's up, Warren? Uh, you know what? Only we have to go. So <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye right, for bye, now. Bye-bye. Peace. Peace. Uh...